Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Aquarius for love and relationship. Dear Aquarius, it seems to be that you find out something lately. A person that from your past that you were waiting for and you were up and down about the current relationship. There is a surprising news, something happened here. Someone who separated from you a few months away, back, or it could be like, you know, um, a year ago that you had a relationship with and that relationship wasn't progressing no matter what you did. And uh, this other person seems to be, you find out that they want to get married to someone or engaged to someone. You expected this to happen with those a couple. You knew that's why you moved on and you have a new or a brand new relationship at this time. And you wasn't really sure about this relationship. You wanted to let it go. But it looks to me that now you see that when you moved on from that person to another person, like when you moved on from someone from your past to a new person that you made the right choice. You might cry a little bit here or get upset, but this person hasn't been with you for a long time. It could be a Pisces person here that you were waiting for. But you felt that attachment, it's not necessary to be Pisces because you felt that attachment for that person from your past really, really very much. You cannot sleep, you wake up in the middle of the night or you have like, you know, that attachment to each other and you are not sure where is this feeling have been really coming from. And you know that you are picking on that person and you say, why they are on my mind even if I try to let them go? What is it exactly? It's so overwhelming, it stress you out. You become undecided back and forth, like, you know, what shall I do? But you made a decision already to be with someone else at this current time. And I get here that relationship with that person is really going to get somewhere. You and this person is going to get married here. That's the current relationship, not the past. Soon you will be ignoring, like, you know, someone from your past. Like, you know, you thought that they're going to approach you and they're going to come back to you. And they did not. That's not necessary with every single Aquarius that they have someone from their past that they moved on with someone else. But this is really like you know, something I'm picking on at this time. That someone from your past like you know, ignored you and they did not want to progress with you because they felt like you know, that both of you are not really on the right connection or it didn't click between you two as to be with you in a committed relationship. They wanted you, but intimately maybe, but not really like you know, to make you the actual wife or husband because that doesn't mean that you are not right. You know, you have a lot of really good qualities in you, but you are not clicking with that person on what they want exactly with you. Like, you know, they feel like, you no, know, it's not really like you know, the right connection or the right relationship. That doesn't mean that you have to hate life in general here. You know, a relationship happen and you don't have, sometimes we don't have control over it. You know, you can click with a word with that person, but you did not click on that word. An idea, a thought. Because the focus always, like, you know, it's not really on the physical only. Like, you know, you have, like, you know, how a relationship, like, you know, or another person click with you. Um, they can be annoyed with someone that they left behind with a certain thing and they don't want this person to do it, and you come across and you say something opposite that other person. 
and they, you click with them and say, hey, oh, I'm going to stick with you because we clicked on something. You know, because it says here, like, you know, the compatibility or the connection is in the mind. Like, you know, it's not really physical because if you focus on the physical, it's not all that. Of course, you have to take care of yourself too. Look physically, like, you know, nice and fit. But also, the connection sometimes, it comes in the mind. You are just, like, you know, really surprised and blown away, like, you know, with the news that you heard lately about someone from your past. Someone from your past, like, you know, keep really, like, you know, having really also that dreams or not sleeping also connect with you because you know how much you love them and you want them. You want it to be with them. Yes, they chose another person or another partner here. And I get here, they want you to stop and keep sending messages because it's not going to work like that. You learned a lot from this other relationship. But the good news about it that you have a new beginning yourself with someone else. And it's really growing more and more between you and the current relationship. Because this current relationship with another person is leading into a settled down. You have a commitment with someone. You still have love for the other person, but you keep really like, you know, being disappointed. And you are like, they cannot commit to me. And why me? And you get really like, you know, sensitive and emotional about it. It says here it ended last year, long time ago, but you kept really waiting for that person. Because you can really like, you know, feel the emotions and the connections there. It says here, don't really get too sensitive about it. Because the other person, if you were like, you no know, settling down together, it wasn't going to be working anyway. And you have a better person in relationship is committed to you at this time. You're going to love this person more, the current relationship. And I get here, you are going to be leaving the disappointment behind as you can end this and walk away from it too. There's someone from your past, like, you know, they did not really want to tell you anything. They didn't want to interact with you also, but they had to show it to you. That way you see in a picture or somebody like, you know, on internet or social media here. That you felt like, you know, that your expectations were on target. Like, you know, with that person that they are committed to another person. You feel like, you know, this is it. It, it never been progress. That's why I had to move on. You have some kind of like negative thoughts right now. You can be sinking in your negative thoughts. You have no appetite for anything. You're going to see like you no know, things in darkness at this time. And you are not going to be really very happy. But in the same time you need to be letting go of the past and the expectations anyway. But... What you desire is really the current person also. The current person, like, you know, is really going to go with you, like, you know, into a committed relationship at this time, and they are going to be really so good to you. So that person played games on you and wasn't sincere and honest anyway, like, you know, that you need to look into yourself and isolate yourself from the past, and you take your power back from that person from the past and enjoy your life because you deserve better. Because this is what I see about past relationship. That person, they wanted to come back, but they didn't want you to be demanding or something like that. They played games on you and they wasn't really like, you no know, right for you anyway. Even if you end up with that person, it wasn't going to work. Like, you know, it will be a path of problems or drama. So rest assured that you are doing really great and going into the right direction in your life. And th that's good. Leave the past where it belongs. Have the upper hand and the control of yourself because you are smarter than this. Very intelligent and you know what's good for you and it's not. You win no matter what. I know this is really, it sounds really a bad reading here. It's not a bad reading, it's a good reading actually, but it's a bad news. Um, but it looks to me that you are winning no matter what. You can be upset, you can cry, you can really like, you know, just dwell on that person, talk about them nasty and bad. But in the same time, I see that you're going to be happy along the run. 
and soon or in a few months you will be glad that you did not end up with that person because that person have a lot of problems and debts to be paid and um, also like you know they have um, some material issues like you know also going on they have courts they have to go to court for some uh, some other stuff they have like you know really a lot of bad setbacks in their life and you don't want to be really caught up in that really bad situation with them so you freed yourself from a lot here dear aquarius i hope you enjoyed your reading and uh, if you need a private reading please contact me on mysticalaziza.com and the link for my website is below this video and thank you so much for watching Bye bye